post game here with head coach Jim Penders. Huskies a 5-1 winner over Sacred Heart this afternoon. Coach, not a lot of offense for you guys, but able to get enough of it here today against Sacred Heart. Yeah, just barely enough. I was glad Isaac got got a hold of one there. It allows us a chance to you know close it out with somebody other than John Russell. I really didn't want John Russell in a ball game today, and I'm glad that he. Uh, he, he puts a little bit more distance between us and them. And uh, P.J. Pullen did a really nice job. You know, he did a super job there. Bases loaded, nobody out, and finds a way to get a, a one, two, three double play there and, and gets the last guy of the inning. And uh, that was big, you know. But we got to be better. You know, we, we knew you know, the crazy part and the reason that the coaches get really tight there is that we, we had about 90% of the pitches. We know it's coming, and we can't do anything with them. And... Um, Saw a lot of guys getting tight, and and it's contagious. You know, when we're when we're ticked off that they're not hitting when they know that a curveball's coming, and they know a changeup's coming, or they know a fastball's coming, it it gets through that lineup in a hurry, and that's what you saw today. A lot of frustration. Talking about Ronnie, he struggled. It was a really tight zone early on, but then goes and gets nine straight retired. It was the most bizarre strike zone we've had all year, um, no question about it. We've had some some bizarre ones. That one was very strange. Um, but I thought he, you know, he battled. He battled. His stuff in the first two innings was electric. I thought he had a really good breaking ball. Um, and he looked, you know, he, Ronnie can do that. He looked a little tentative at times, but um, and he should never be tentative with his stuff. But uh, he gutted it out, you know, and, and uh, found a way to, to to get the ball to PJ. We he gave us five and two thirds, I think, and, and gave us a, a decent start. And now first place USF comes to town. What do you need to see these next two work days? Well, just you know, we we got to uh, we got to be ready to make plays and 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 uh you saw a little bit of that show up in that eight was it the eighth inning where you know we throw a ball high it doesn't have to be thrown high um we have two guys converge on a bunt that we know is coming and neither one of them look like it, 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 both of them look like they wanted the other guy to make the play um that's stuff that's going to eat us alive you know if it continues and and it's been happening you know um fortunately you know we do that in the league we're going to get eaten alive so uh, over the course of the next two days, we're going to have a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, game speed repetitions, you know, and put as much pressure on them as possible. Um, in, in a lot of ways, I'd prefer to play a game now tomorrow with, with the way that we play today. But, you know, we don't have one on the schedule. Let's, uh, let's go have two really good quality practices. We're going to get a lift in tomorrow, get the, keep those bodies strong. And um, all, they, all they have to focus on, they don't have to go back to the dorms and study now. Those, the exams are over. Let's just focus on baseball and get ready for an excellent, you know, uh, an excellent University of South Florida team. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, Josie.